Hello everybody, time again for another study. We see this pawn here, Black's pawn. It's uh, threatening to go down to h1 and promote. And it looks a bit scary. It's very hard to stop that one. But what can win this anyway, actually? The question is how, of course. And that's what you should find out now when you pause the video. Have a look at it, think about it, and decide what to do. And then we come back and we go through everything together. So go ahead. All right, here we go. Well, we cannot really focus on this pawn, obviously, because it's uh, unstoppable if we just focus on that. So let's do another move. Let's play a6. This is the correct move uh, to win this. If black uh, just ignores it, we will pass and we will get the queen at the same time, but we will get ours with a check. And this is not immediately winning for white, but something like this. Uh, check. And we can just really play anything. Let's play uh, knight b4. Everything is actually winning here because we have the two pieces up. We're going to hide our king here. We're going to put uh, one piece here or the queen. Black's king is totally out, so we will get the check and uh, exchange or even winning the queen sooner or later. Uh, and this will win for white for sure. Okay, so then black has to take here. And what was the purpose of this uh, pawn sacrifice, really? Can you see how white continues from here? Here we go. We play king c2. It has to go to c2. It cannot go to c4. And you will understand why later. Now we are threatening to put our bishop on e5 and stop this pawn. So black has to do something about it. He cannot just move out his king or something. Because bishop e5 is winning for white. So he has to move his pawn. Uh, and uh, make it impossible for us to stop it. Okay, so what is white playing now? We are allowing him to queen, and we are still winning. How is that possible? Well, we play bishop e5 anyway. Threatening the pawn, forcing him to either promote, or he can try to take our a3 pawn. If we take here, he take our knight, and it's a draw. But after king a3, white has this brilliant move. Knight c3. It threatens checkmate and it threatens to take this pawn. And he cannot defend against both. If he escapes with his king, he loses his pawn. And we have this fantastic bishop and knight against a king. This pawn will fall, obviously, sooner or later. And it's a win. But it's not easy. But it's a win. Okay. So he's not taking up a3 pawn. He gets the promotion on h1. And now, do you see how white wins? Well, it's the same idea as in the other variation. Knight c3 check. If black takes here, it's a checkmate. And the only other move is king a5. And that's also a checkmate. So, a knight, sorry, a bishop, and a knight is more than enough to win this, even though we allowed black to uh, promote to a queen. Really like this. Press like you also if you do the same. And uh, come back to my channel to see more cool things. Have a great day. Bye bye.